Hey there, welcome to Base Intelligence. In this video, we will quickly take a look at how to refer to previous row in Power Query Editor. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. A simple loan amortization data on my screen which has fields like payment number, payment date, principal interest and ending balance whereas I do not have a field which will tell me the beginning balance for the current row. So we are gonna refer to previous row of ending balance field that is going to be the beginning balance for the current row. So let's see how to do that. First step that we are gonna perform is we will add index field. For that we will go to add column option. Here let's click on index column and let's click on from zero which will add new field called index which will have value starting from zero incremented by one. Now again go to add column and let's click on custom column and let's give a name and here we are not gonna use any of these fields but we are gonna refer to previous step that we have applied on this data set which is added index so we will say hash double quote added index now added index field has written us a result which is in table format and out of that table we want previous row for the current row so here we need to provide the row number in curly bracket so here you can type the row number and you will get that specific row from that result set so here we cannot use static row number instead we are gonna use index field which has row numbers for all these data sets so here we will type field name in square bracket index number so the field name is index and whatever value index field has we are gonna subtract one from that value because we want to refer to previous row hence we need to subtract it by one now we are going to get the whole row whole previous row but out of that row we want the value of ending balance field hence we need to provide the field as well so from that row we want the value of field called ending balance in square bracket and here you can see one field is added called beginning balance which is referring to previous row value of ending balance you can see them here now if you look at the first row we are getting error here because the value of index field is zero and if you subtract one from zero it is gonna give you error here now how to handle that we can take take that inside try block so that we can handle error here so let's go to formula bar of this added custom step and here after each let's type try space this is the code that we had added and if there is any kind of error otherwise we want value called null so this means let's give me the value of ending balance field of previous row and if there is any type of error then return me the null and let's press enter and you can see that error is gone and instead of that error we are getting null value here if you are new on our channel then subscribe us and visit our channel to watch more such videos do not forget to like and share this video with your friends thank you for watching